Good morning, Taft High School. My name is Emily Brickovich, and I'm one of your co-hosts for today's episode. Good morning, Taft students. My name is Sarah Pearson, and I'll also be your co-host. Let's get started with the announcements for Friday, April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. Faculty, staff, and students, in alignment with the guidance from the State of California and Los Angeles County Department of Public Health, masks are now strongly recommended but not required at all LUSD campuses. Please consider your situation and do what is best for you. Juniors, SBAC testing starts today. This test measures student achievement and growth in English and math and is one of the important factors in how Taft is measured for student achievement overall. There are many important reasons students should take the state test seriously. Parents can use the test results as one of the many indications of their child's academic performance. The state uses overall results to monitor a school's performance toward achieving state standards. Teachers use the results to help determine how they can better support the students. These tests provide important information for our teachers, scholars, and their families about our schools and students' progress, so please take your time when taking the test as there is no time limit. Good luck, juniors, on the SBAC test and do your best. Would you like to participate in a fun competition? Do you want to test your gaming skills at Super Smash Brothers? If so, come participate in Cards, Boards, and Chords Club in Esports Club Super Smash Brothers Tournament. You'll be able to make friends, have fun, and test out your skills on the Nintendo Switch. If you are interested, go to Mr. Moon's room on Tuesdays and Thursdays to sign up. May the best player win. If you want to join AI, AIAT, SAS, or HIPP, don't forget to apply for the program using the link on Taft website under News and Announcements. Congratulations to all of the delegates who participated in the 2022 Model United Nations Conference hosted at USC this past weekend. A special congratulations to Lakitha Batu, the delegate of Georgia, for being awarded an honorable mention, and Surya Bendarupali, the delegate of Denmark, for being awarded a verbal commendation. We are very proud of all of our Model UN students. Congratulations to the Taft dance team who showed out at the Sharp Dance Competition last weekend. They received third place in military and lyrical, and first place in small and X XL hip-hop. Great job representing Taft. Here are some reminders. Attention all juniors. The Taft of the class of 2023 donation drive is now underway until April 8th, and we need your help to raise funds for our senior year. Hey juniors, the class of 2023 is raising money for all senior year activities and events, most importantly, prom. The donation drive is a fundraiser aimed to raise money so that we, the class of 2023, can not only select our top choice venue for prom next year, but also host lots of fun senior events and activities. We ask that you ask your family or friends to check a check or a cash donation starting March 21st through April 8th. Each student that raises at least $50 will get a lanyard, and any student who raises $100 or more will receive a Taft Tumblr. And the student that raises the most amount of money will be awarded complimentary tickets to two senior events next year, not including prom and grad night. Checks can be made out to Taft High School Memo Class of 2023 Donation. Please see the Schoology post to include the information before sealing the envelope. The forms will be available in the main office for pickup as well. Students can drop off the sealed donations to the main office in the red drop-off box on the wall labeled ASB or bring it by Mrs. Yu's office in the AP office. You can drop this off before school, during nutrition or lunch, or after school. You can also bring the donation to our weekly junior class meeting on Wednesdays during lunch in T154. No donation is too small. All donations are extremely appreciated and going towards creating an amazing senior year for our class. Hey everyone, juniors are now selling candy in front of T building before and after school from now until spring break. Candy bags are $1 each and Taft hats are being sold for $10. We are also selling Jamba Juice gift cards for $15. Stop by to support the junior class. Our spring book drive, Read and Recycle, has begun. Teachers and students, please donate any new or gently used books. We are looking for pre-K age to fifth grade. Teachers, if you'd like a box to collect books for your classroom, please contact Ms. Volkov and we can have the one delivered to you. All the books donated will be given to Carlos Santana Elementary School's library and classroom teachers. ASB is hosting a student versus teacher sports tournament. The students versus teachers games will be next Friday on April 8th. The volleyball game will be at 4 p.m. and the basketball game will be at 5 p.m. in the big gym. Starting on Monday in lower lunch, tickets to watch both games for $5 will be sold. Buy some to watch your friends and your teachers compete. Be a part of Academic Decathlon. 
Contact Mr. Puente at cole.puente at lusd.net or see him in his room in M264 if you are interested. Do you like cars? Do you want to learn more about them? You should join Angie's Car Club. Come to room B203 th Tuesdays at lunch. All are welcome. Kid Philip is releasing his first single, Fast Life Livin', presented to you by Taft's Songwriting Club. Make sure to pre-save by scanning the QR code. If you see Kirill on campus, let him know that you liked his song. Now for his exclusive snippet of his new music video. Skirt. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Fast life. Fast life. What? Huh? Uh. This my life. Call it fast life. Living like a light. Some me. No solid fucks given with these racks. Some me. Bam. Bout to get G. Got the bros in the back with the model on my side. Yeah. In Taft Sports News, Taft Softball has games today against El Camino at 3 p.m. Varsity will be playing at El Camino and JV will be at Taft. Boys Tennis has a match against Cleveland and baseball has games against El Camino. Good luck, Toreadors. Also, the track team raced against Cleveland on March 24th, running away with the win. The girls' varsity team finished first place in every event. In their next meet at Simi Valley on March 26, Captain Alexis Williams, Cameron Simon-Levitt, Ashley Williams, and Caitlin Simon-Levitt got first place overall for the 4x400 meter relay and second place overall for the 4x100 meter relay. And now for this week's Teacher Spotlight. Hi everyone, ready for this week's Teacher Spotlight? Try and guess who this teacher is. She teaches American Sign Language. When she was younger, she hated eating vegetables, but now she loves them. Some of her hobbies include traveling, watching musicals, and sprucing up her island on Animal Crossing. Her favorite food is peanut butter, and her favorite TV shows are Parks and Rec and Criminal Minds. Her favorite thing about Taft is how culturally diverse it is. A kitchen appliance that would best describe her personality is a crock pot and slow cooker, because it takes a while to get her to open up and trust you. She has to get there on her own. You can't rush her. She attended Cal State Northridge, and a song she has on repeat right now is It's All Coming Back to Me Now by Celine Dion. Do you know who this teacher is? It's Miss Wolkov. We hope you've enjoyed our teacher spotlight this year. Starting next week, we'll start student spotlights where teachers can shout out students and recognize how awesome they are. Teachers, if you want to shout out a student, find the link to the Google form posted on the Taft Schoology page. See you next week. Remember, we have in-person peer tutoring available in T155 during lunch on Tuesdays and right after school from 3.15 p.m. to 4.15 p.m. on Mondays and Thursdays. We also still have virtual tutoring every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday between 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. So log in using the link bit.ly slash TAF virtual tutoring. If you have any announcements that you'd like to feature on Torridor News, please fill out the Google form found at bit.ly slash Torridor News form. Please make sure to submit announcements at least two weeks in advance since Torridor News episodes are filmed ahead of time. That's, That's about, about it for now, TAP. So remember, so remember to, to keep TAP clean, green, green, safe, and serene. There are only five more days until spring, until spring break. Have a flawless Friday. Bye, TAPs.